The money turn me to a monster. The money turn me noodles and pasta. The money turn me tuna and a lobster. They wanna do me, I'ma do it like a monster. Chino, Chino. Time with Dream Chaser, Monster, Shoe City, Ethica. Uh, Meek's artist, actually. Been signed with Meek for like three, four years now. Been riding since I was like six. And I just been doing it for a long time. I was born and raised in Baltimore, and uh, like I just had a, I just had a passion for riding dirt bikes. Like people around me was in the streets. I never was a follower or to follow what they was doing. And uh, I just like dirt bikes all my life was riding. I stick to riding, and I guess it paid off now. So bike culture in Baltimore, uh, like. Like this really where it was originated at in Baltimore. So like we they call us like the bike the dirt bike capital. Everybody here like we riding down here been going on probably since like since the 80s and all that. Like and we've been doing all the tricks and all that type of stuff. So and then we got everything first like the brake and all that. And we was at one point in time we was uh, going back and forth with Philly. That's crazy because Philly and Baltimore had like a little head on. It was going at it talking stuff on uh, YouTube and all that. Me and Meek met, uh, he was at a show, he had a show down here in Baltimore, and uh, he was asking people at the show, like, anybody know Chano, anybody know Chano? So somebody at the show knew me, and at the show, they met him outside at his bus, I think. He gave him his number and told him, like, tell Chano, call me. And I called him. So when I'm talking to him, he's telling me how all the stuff he's gonna do for me and all that. I'm thinking he lying. I'm thinking he telling the story, thinking he just, just talking to me, talking. So, like, a week later, he told me to come to Philly to ride. So I go out to Philly to ride. And then after that, like we just been we just been together since. And then I signed with him probably like a year or two later. This is a 2014 KFX Chrome. Uh, Meek got the gold on. They both limited, like, cause you don't really see nobody with uh, Chrome. They special, they specially made for us. We got our names on them. Our sponsors, Dream Chaser, Monster, you know what I mean, Ethica. We just got, and we got like some of the top bikes right now too. Gold and Chrome. We got the best bikes out here right now. Oh, counting up this money with my brothers. With my brothers. I've been counting all this money with my brothers. With my brothers. And I'ma get money, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Look at all the young niggas flexing from the This area right here, where we at, this this called Wheel Deal right here. Everybody who ride dirt bikes, they know Wheel Deal in Baltimore is like the top dirt bike spot. If you ain't never been to Wheel Deal, like you ain't official yet, like. This the long strip right here. Everybody be really wanting to come ride on the hill. You sit on watch everybody. Sundays, I'm talking about when you right here on Sundays, it's probably a thousand people out here. No exaggeration, a thousand people up and down the street on both sides of the street. My relationship with uh, Lips, that's the one who taught me uh, like how, how wheeling and all that. He was like one of the nicest guys in Baltimore. Like nobody in Baltimore was nicer than him. He had all the sweat, the arms, swinging his arm and all that. He was like the top guy. And I always used to watch him, like, I want to be like him on a dirt bike. Like, I want to be like him. He was like, he had long braids too. All the girls wanted him and all that. He was just high in Baltimore on a dirt bike. And uh, like when I started riding, I started riding with him. And like watching everything he do, he telling me little stuff, what to do and stuff like that. And after that, I just got it and started getting nice and all that. The, the police know we do this every Sunday too, so. And then they come up, like they'll let us ride probably for like a few, like for an hour or two. Then like after that, they come and shut it down. They know, so they just let us vibe out right here for a second, ride up and down. Because eventually they know we're gonna pull off and go ride. But we always gonna come back right here. Cause it's like right here be the live. It's like everybody come up here on Sundays just to watch the dirt bikes, like the whole city. I went about learning all my tricks on the dirt bike. Like the one hand was always around. The Superman, like I was one of the top guys. They used to call me actually when I was young. They used to call me Lil Superman. That was all I liked to do was Superman stand up on. Actually, Superman too is standing up on the seat. How I be dancing on the seat and all that, and uh, put my leg over the handlebars and all that. They just like some of the bases and top tricks that everybody really do, but it's just everybody do the tricks differently. You get what I'm saying? Like some people do it. You can tell if they really know what they're doing, or you can tell if some people don't know what they're doing. Like you really gotta know what you're doing when you're doing these type of tricks or else you'll be on your head, like you'll fall or something, you'll hurt yourself. I don't ride with helmets. I mean, that's just how we was brought up in Baltimore. And uh, it's just like, it's a, it's a style for us not to ride with a helmet. Like if we ride with a helmet, we probably wouldn't have no, uh, like we wouldn't, we really wouldn't have no fear then if we ride with a helmet, but I still ride with a helmet. I be doing monster shows and all that. I gotta ride with a helmet when I'm doing shows for them. So 
I feel like I can ride with a helmet or without one. That's what I like to do. I, I fell too. I felt like I fell a few times like trying to get where I'm at actually on dirt bikes. I fell. I got hit by a car, broke my nose. And uh, just little scars too just fell to get me here where I'm at today. Like now, you, you you won't ever see me. Like I'm not even gonna say ever, but you won't see me fall. It's very rare for you to see me fall. And if I fall, it ain't gonna be like nothing major because I know like what to do when it when that type of stuff about to happen. If I'm about to fall or something like that, my style like my style on dirt bike. Like I got like I got ride fly. Like every time I ride, like I really get dressed to ride. Like it'd be crazy. Like I get dressed. Every day from here to toe to ride. Every Sunday, I gotta be fresh on Sundays. They like the top days too on the dirt bike, so I gotta be like the top guy fresh. Cause they gonna, all eyes gonna really be on me. Most, most gonna be on everybody too that's riding, but I'm gonna be like the center of attention cause I don't ride like that. And I'm just like one of the top riders too. And then like if my homeboys get on the bike too, that's how they going. They going, all, all my homeboys ride too at that. So they gonna jump on the bike the same way. That's just how, that's how we ride. We gotta be fly on the bikes. That's just how I was brought up too. Like my mom, she was fly. My dad was fly, so I had to be fly. I got it from them. My, my mom and dad wasn't in a they wasn't in a relationship, but they always they had a, like a tight relationship. They was cool. You know what I mean, like really, like they really like was best friends for real. So see, my dad was in the street. Like my dad was in the streets. He actually I, like one day he had set me down. Like man, I thought she was gonna be in the street, but no, I took another way out. I wanted to follow or none of that. And all my homeboys, they was them type of guys. So I just put my mind somewhere else, something I love to do, and that's what I did. This is CBL 1000 right here, 2015. They only made 500 of them in the world. You know, it's a racing edition. No, this is my helmet, right? one of my helmets. Monster DC, Epic Hill. Uh, P. Little Dad, my homie that got killed, another nice one on dirt bikes. There's an RMZ 250 right here, 2008. My chrome bike actually is a special bike to me. I uh, designed that with Monster Pro Circuit and uh, they put it together for me how I wanted it. My plastics dipped and all that in the chrome, suspension, pipe, stuff like that. So it's just me, how I wanted to drive and stuff like that. With all the stuff that just like recently happened in Baltimore, like with the Freddie Gray situation and all that, I feel like it's just like riding the dirt bikes, just like keep everything positive in Baltimore. Like keep, it keep people off the corners, all that. It's just like another way out. I feel like everybody should if you like dirt bikes you should put your like you should just go go forward with it and just keep riding and you're gonna make it somewhere someday even if you don't go on the motocross or if you open up a line me and meek mill like how we gonna open up this lane we're gonna open up this lane i mean really you make you make that transition from uh street to pro like if i feel like we opened up a lane with like going into Monster and all that. Cause like Monster really don't sign street riders and all that. That's why I'm on, sometimes I'm on dirt and sometimes I'm on the street. Like I practice for dirt, but mostly the transition from street to dirt, you gotta like practice every day, really practice on the dirt, get the dirt techniques down packed, how to ride on the dirt and all that. You know what I mean, cause the dirt, that's a whole different of a ball game right there. Like when you're on that dirt, that's way different from the street. This right here is the Ethica signage for uh, the boxes. I got this like tatted on them because like they was one of the first sponsors and I felt like they was just like family. They actually helped me. The guys over at Ethica, they like became very good friends with the Dream Chaser, with our camp and all that. And they actually helped us because we was new. They actually helped us get other sponsors like Monster and stuff like that, put different stuff together. Actually the Dream Chaser hats and stuff like that. Like they just was a very big help to Dream Chaser. So I felt like they family for life. I mean, and I got the Dream Chaser because that's that's what I'm with. You see the Dream Chaser chain, the Glizzy chain, and the cross. I got a good relationship with Glizzy too. That's why I'm rocking this chain. That's my homie right there. He actually doing his thing down in uh down in DC, like one of the top rappers down there. But yeah, I got like a very good relationship with Glizzy. That's my homie. We talk almost every week here and there. That's my homie. I'm out here, but I'm doing not safe, but it's safe to me because I know what I'm doing, and I feel like. I can fall, but I feel like I'm not going to fall. Like, I just feel like I just got everything mastered down pack, and I'm the best at what I do. Right now, I'm Civil TV, Chino. Shout out Karen Civil, Dream Chaser, Monster Energy, Shoe City, Ethical. Why be that? 8 a.m., I'm on the north side of Philly, riding the